Hello folks, uh, this is a grill that I mentioned a couple of videos back about how I was not very impressed with it, and I'm still not. Uh, but I'm going to try it again. And you can see, I think you can see down there, let me see if you can see, you can see that there's still a lot of coals that are unburned down there. Uh, it's kind of like it chokes itself, it just doesn't, you can see there's still pretty much full coals. And there's hardly any ash in there. But, I'm going to try something a little bit different. This is charcoal that I like. I'm going to go ahead and load him up. This is the kind of charcoal that you don't have to use a... Uh, you don't have to use uh, lighter fluid with. Well, they're liars because you do. Well, in this grill anyway. So I'm going to give them a nice little soaking. It has been a little humid, and those coals that are still in there probably sucked up some moisture. This has been outside. Since I used it, uh, I'm going to let the fumes kind of go off, and I'm going to try not to burn my eyebrows out. I'm going to let it do its thing, and hopefully... It doesn't burn the canopy. <laughs> Those are leaves up there, not burn marks. Okay, so I'm already nervous. I think I may have to scoot this guy back a little bit already. Okay. Can you see it? Okay, you can see that. And yep, the camera's getting pretty warm. So I'm moving back. Uh, actually, I'm going to remove everything that's up here so it doesn't burn too. Yep. Good old afterthought thing. I think what it was uh, when I was doing this the other day, I think it's just that it doesn't get enough air. There's no vent from directly from the bottom, but I think you can see right there if it'll focus. If the uh, well, there you go. That is a draft, and there's one on the other side. Uh, that's kind of high up. Let me move this stuff around here, maybe. Keep the camera from melting. Okay, we're not too hot right here. So, I'm going to go ahead and let that thing burn up the way it's supposed to. And we will check back in in just a few minutes. So, it looks like the coals are burning down nicely. Uh, they're already burnt more than, than what they were the other day. Uh, I, I really think it's a draft problem on this thing. I like it because everything folds up and the lid comes down and this little handle holds the lid shut. Uh, I'm not going to put that on there yet. The table doesn't get hot underneath there. Uh, the canopy has not... Let's look. <laughs> Nothing's melted up there yet. Uh, there is a hole over there right there but I think that was from a stick last year but it's doing its thing and I'm liking it and I really think it's a draft problem I don't know what it is with these very inexpensive grills and well for wood burners for that matter the little camp wood burner I have has the same exact problem there's there's just no draft to it you know, it's got to have oxygen to burn they're already burned way down. Let's, let's zoom in. See, they, they still got a little bit more to go. Uh, yeah, and that's burning stuff that's under there already. There, I mean, that was already in there. So this is, you know, that, that's what it is. The draft sucks on this thing. So it burned down a good bit, and then it kind of stopped. Uh, I do have my professional-grade coal mover around her. Thing, utensil. Uh, yeah, the coals on the bottom are not burned up all the way. Ow, son of a gun, that is hot. Okay, something about this grill, this little hole, drops ashes, and that could potentially drop an amber down there. That could really suck, but son of a gun, that thing is hot. So, uh, not burned up the way that I would really want it. So, uh, 
kind of torn between, oh man, that thing is hot. I need a longer, I need to order a new coal mover rounder. Uh, not really burned up the way I want it yet, but I'm going to go ahead and close the lid. The venti holy thing is open, and I believe this utensil has to go. So, uh, now I'm just going to kind of let it cook a little bit more by itself. Do the cleany uppy stuff. Uh, it's smoking good. Let me back out. Didn't realize we were zoomed in that far. Uh, yeah, there's some heat coming off of it. There's smoke coming off of it. It smells good. There's not even anything cooking yet. So, uh, here pretty soon we're going to be putting something on there. Okay, so I think the coals are burned down good enough. I decided to make a little aluminum foil tray here. I've got some cheapy little popper shrimp thingamajigs. They are the frozen kind, so they're already cooked, and I don't have to worry about dying from whatever I could get for not cooking these thoroughly, since I still don't trust this grill. In they go. Onto the pan. And I've got some steak fries that I've already used a little bit of. And who doesn't love steak fries, right? You know what? Let's just let's go crazy. And drop some. Okay, since this cooks kind of cool anyway, uh, I'm kind of just going to let it do its thing. Uh, yeah, this is not how I would normally do this, but I don't care. I need to use up stuff. So, uh, that's going to be good. Cannot wait. I think it'll be good. It might be crap, but it'll be what it'll be. So now that everything is kind of ready, I'm going to put the rack on this thing, and this part sucks, but I did super awesome that time. Uh, you know what? I think I'll let that thing heat up a little bit first. Uh, there's still some stuff on there. I have not cleaned that very well. So, I guess I'm going to let that stuff burn off there before I do anything else. Uh, the coals are burning nicely while the lid's open. And once I put the frozen crap on there, I'm sure the lid will, when I close the lid, it'll cool it down. So it won't burn stuff and it'll cook everything kind of thoroughly-ish or something. I don't know. Everything's already cooked, so I'm not going to die. But if it's frozen, it's going to suck. So, we'll look at that in a second. So now I'm kind of thinking that all the cooties that might have been on there have burned off. This thing is crazy hot. Uh, check out my handmade pan, and son of a gun, that's hot. Now I have a knife here, because there's a lot of, not really frost, but there's a lot of frozen things in there. So I'm going to poke a couple little holes. Just in case there is excess moisture or grease, which there probably shouldn't be. Uh, so it'll all run down and do its thing. Okay. Now, kind of like my favorite part is waiting. I'm going to close the big old lid. The vent is all the way open. You better cook me something good. If not, I will have to try again, I guess. So, it's been, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes or something. Uh, not, I know it's hot, I probably couldn't touch it. Yeah, everything's cold here. It's kind of warm. Not doing what I want it to do. Uh, there's just no draft of this thing. Yeah, I can grab the foil and there's no, well, a little bit of hurt. Actually, I'm kind of wondering if the foil is limiting the draft, other than this giant frozen block of food that I put on here. Okay, well, I don't know, I guess we'll just wait another 20 minutes or something. I think everything's kind of thawed. But it's not good like I want it to be. So it's been quite a while. Uh, 
getting a little impatient here. There's some heat. Not much. You know what, Grill? You are on your last leg here. You're having your last chance. Uh, a lot of steam. Maybe I'll leave a lid off. I'll let it have another go. Yeah, there's a lot of steam coming up out of there. I stir this crap around. It's hot. Uh, getting tired of your crap here, Grill. You better start doing something. Oh, God, that's hot. You want to hurt me? I may end up hurting you. Yeah, let's do some of that. At least there'll be a couple crunchy french fries. Get your ass over there. Don't you look at me. Look at the floor. Alright. So. Yeah, I really shouldn't be able to grab this at all. But I can. So that just tells me that this thing is still sucking. Ah. Uh, yeah, even the shrimp on the bottom, they got a little bit of black on them, but they're still squishy. Now, of course, this was a big old pile of frozen crap. Ah, uh, but America. I want stuff to be done when I want it to be done, and it will be done, or I'm going to shoot you. You. Better start cooking. About had it with your crap grill. We're going to have a go around. What the hell is your problem? Why are you not cooking correctly? What is wrong with you? You are a disgrace to your entire family of charcoal grills. Do you understand that? I know you did not sign up for this. However, we are here and you have a job to do. You will do it. Do you understand? Do you understand me? You know what? Don't worry about it. I'll figure out something. I know you can't do your job. Don't worry about it. It's okay. Some grills just aren't meant to cook. <laughs> Uh, I don't know what you're actually supposed to do. Uh, you look neat with your little flappy holder downer thing and your stupid lid. Uh, don't worry about it. I will take care of it. You just relax. You can just sleep in tomorrow and play video games all day. Okay? We good? Ladies and gentlemen, if you have something that doesn't work for you, get rid of it. Get something better. I will no longer have to worry about that grill. Thanks for watching.